Hi everyone, my name is Miss Trish. How's everyone doing today? I hope you're all doing great. Today I would like to share the words from Lesson 4 from Worldly Wise 3000 Bouquet. I hope you like it. Our first word is rotten. We see two apples on the picture. One of the apple looks fresh and good to eat, whereas the other one looks rotten. When something is rotten, it has gone bad. The second apple has become rotten, smelly and mushy. You even see a worm peeking out. Our second word is stumble. Stumble. What is a chipmunk in the picture doing? Right, it's tripping and almost falling down. To stumble means to trip and almost fall. It looks like the chipmunk is stumbling over the log. Let's say stumble together. Stumble, stumble. What is this? Right on, it's a rope. A rope is a thick piece of twisted string that is very strong. Sometimes a rope is used for jumping. Have any one of you ever jumped a rope before? And sometimes we use, use it to do a tug of war. How fun. Let's say rope together. Rope, rope. What do you see in this picture? A desk. And the red arrow is pointing to the edge of the desk. The edge is a border of something. It's where the two flat parts come together. And why don't you try to point over an edge of your desk or a table? Let's say edge together. Edge, edge. This picture shows an invitation to a birthday party. It tells who the party is for, Jason, when the party will be, May 6th, 2 o'clock, and where it is at Jason's house. So you can say, I got an invitation card from Jason. And if you want to use the word invitation as a verb, you can say invite, invite. So you can say, Jason invited me to his birthday party. Moving on, we have the word blame. Blame. In the story, David broke the teacup, but he blamed it on Caroline. This means he said it wasn't his fault. It was Caroline's fault. When you blame someone for something, you say that it's their fault and not your fault. What is happening in this picture? The boy is blaming the cat for breaking the cookie jar. Let's say blame together. Blame, blame. Next, we have the word able. Able. When you're able to do something, this means you can do it. This car shows a picture of a bird that is able to fly and a baby bird that is not able to fly yet. Glossy means smooth and shiny. This car shows two different floors. Which one do you think is glossy? Right, the one with the squares. It's very shiny. Whereas the other one on the right hand side is very dirty with lots of dirt. Our next word is polite. Polite means having good manners and being pleasant to other people. Let's take a look at these two ducks eating pizza. One of them is being polite and one isn't. One is using a napkin, which is polite, having a good manner. And the other one is wiping his face with the wing, which is not so polite. Let's say the word polite together. Polite, polite. Our last word for this lesson is naughty. Let's take a look at the picture. We see two children and one is being naughty. And who do you think it is? Right, the one coloring on the wall instead of on a paper is being naughty. So when you're not listening to somebody like your teacher or your mom, we say they're naughty instead of being good. 